Today I have some black ooze to review for you guys. Hello there, Above Average Fam. Above Average Cody here coming at you with yet another energy drink review. Today, we are back on the G Fuel review train with arguably the least appealing sounding flavor I've ever had in my life. We have Black Ooze from the new Venom movie, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Uh, not a sponsor, it's just what inspired the flavor. Obviously, we have Venom on the can, very nice, very cool. And today, we're gonna be going over what G Fuel is, very straightforward. We're gonna go over what G Fuel feels like, which most of you probably already know, but I'll do my best to describe how it is caffeine energy wise. And then finally, for the bulk of the video, we're gonna go over what this brand new flavor, Black Ooze, tastes like. And all you gamers out there, if this is your first energy drink review here on the channel, go down below and subscribe. We do these every week along with a ton of gaming content, Pokemon card openings, a lot of fun stuff. So be sure to come be a part of the Above Average Fam down below. Leave a like on the video while you are down there and leave a comment. Let me know if you have had any of the newer G Fuel flavors and what you thought of them. Let's jump in to this review. Now, G Fuel Black Ooze. First off, G Fuel or Gamer Fuel or whatever you want to call it, mainly it goes under G Fuel, is a sugar-free energy drink that is really catered towards gamers, but really anybody can use it for a top-notch boost of energy. Uh, G Fuel normally comes in a powder with a tub of 30 servings. You mix it up with water and a shaker bottle and boom, you've got the energy you need to game and stay focused. But uh, today we have the can with us. They have since in the last couple of years converted to putting some of their special flavors into cans, which are amazing by the way. They account for about two scoops of G Fuel, 300 milligrams of caffeine in this can here and all of the G Fuel cans in general. That's a perfect transition into how G Fuel feels. G Fuel guys, amazing. Not a sponsor whatsoever. I really hope someday it will be, but uh, dude, their energy formula is just unrivaled. It gives you such elite focus and awake feeling without all the jitters and energy. Make no mistake, it is not like a pre-workout. A pre-workout will give you the like skin crawling tinglys, like I gotta run out and go lift. Uh, for some reason, G Fuel's formula so well tuned in to sitting still and gaming, taking a test even is a perfect example, guys. It gives you that laser-like focus without, again, all the jitteriness. 300 milligrams of caffeine in this as mentioned, which is the equivalent of roughly three cups of generic coffee. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, be careful with that. But for most of us here that love energy drinks, guys, that has been the golden ticket number. It's the amount in bang, it's the amount in rain, uh, two very top tier energy drinks. And let me tell you, this amount of caffeine, fantastic for staying awake for a long time with little to no crash. And let me tell you, G Fuel, no sugar, all that caffeine, great flavors. What is there not to love? Now, this flavor today, Black Ooze, uh, not very effective appealing for face value just based off the name but it is because of venom the new movie venom carnage i have not seen it yet uh somebody feel free to let me know how it is in the comments with no spoilers preferably but uh they came out with black ooze and red ooze for um like flavor specials which they do sometimes for movies we also have the flavor bomb from the free guy movie which uh i'll be reviewing at some point in the future but i have no idea what this is supposed to taste like i have not had it yet i got a four pack and this is can one of four for me out of that pack it smells I don't know what it smells like, honestly. It smells like some kind of berry flavor, but uh, my guess, if I, if you just told me to guess off the name, my guess is gonna be blackberry, but uh, we're gonna take a taste and I'll do my best to review what it tastes like for you guys. Oh yeah, I think that I've got this one dialed in pretty good, guys. The main thing, uh, so right when it hits my mouth, not a super strong taste to me, at least not from what I'm getting. A very dull and dialed back flavor. Almost tastes like a flavored carbonated water, if you will. But the main flavor I am getting off this black ooze is black cherry, which would be very appropriate. Obviously, black ooze, black cherry. Why not, right? Which is, they kind of threw me off because I forgot black cherry was even an option. So when I guess blackberry, I'm like, that's the only thing with the, the correlation there, name to name. But yeah, guys, it tastes like black cherry. A fairly dull 
black cherry taste, if you ask me. It's not quite as strong as some G Fuel flavors, but again, some people don't always want that, guys. Some people turn to the zero sugar energy drinks because it isn't quite as overpowering in the sweetness department, and this one definitely is not. You do get enough black cherry flavor to get the flavor, but it's not too overpowering, and G Fuel always does that pretty well. They're very accurate with what their flavors taste like. Obviously, this one's black ooze, so you don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Uh, I'm just telling you, to me, I'm getting black cherry. I'm relatively confident that's what it is, and it's dialed in, guys. It's not overpowering, and it's not too dull either. It's very mellow. It's kind of like a seltzer feel, not like, I know seltzer's kind of like, eh, but I just mean that in terms of it's not like biting into a black cherry itself. It's very in the middle of the scale of flavor. So if this being overly sweet and this being no flavor at all, plain water, it's somewhere in the middle, if that makes sense as a flavor description. Personally, I like it. I don't know if I would buy it again, but it, that's mainly just because G Fuel has so many amazing flavors that this one just really doesn't stand out too much. It's nothing too special. It's really just a basic black cherry. So guys, a decent flavor, not as sweet as I was hoping, kind of dull overall. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Trust me guys, a good flavor. I will be drinking all of the cans in the four pack I bought. It just, compared to other G Fuel flavors, I have to scale it down on our scale of one to 10 because they have so many good flavors that there are many flavors I would put above the black ooze uh, venom flavor but uh it's not bad it's good again if it was the only one g fuel offered i would buy it over and over again but with all the amazing flavors they have i would put this one further down the list so seven out of ten as i said for the black ooze venom let there be carnage flavor uh i will show you guys the entire can i do not know if the camera's focused i have no way of seeing but uh, hopefully you're getting your fill of that can. I will be keeping the cans. I keep all the cans because obviously the big Venom face on the side I think is pretty sweet. And then a quick sneak peek of next week's video. We will have the Red Ooze, the other Venom flavor they did to review for you guys. So one more time, Black Ooze, G Fuel, 300 milligrams caffeine, 7 out of 10 flavor wise. There are better flavors, but this one is not bad. And that wraps up this week's energy drink review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're not already, go down below, hit that subscribe button completely free. It takes two seconds. Leave a like while you are down there and leave a comment. Let me know if you've had the red ooze, the black ooze, any of the oozes, and what you thought of them. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. And uh, that's it, guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.